love social media as a journalist I use it but I know now corporations have to rethink you know how exactly they incorporate it that incorporated it into their PR or marketing strategy but for the financial world it plays a much different role tell us what your company is trying to achieve Absolutely. So we're setting the standard for compliant social media. And what we've been doing is listening to financial service companies. Many of them want to do social media and engage with it, but the fear of regulation and also reputational outfall is huge. So we put together heads of digital, heads of compliance and the FCA in a room together. It's meant to be five firms, end up being 15. And out of that came a charter. From that, we developed guidelines that we gave to the regulator. Um, they've looked over and amended, and now we're feeding it back into the industry. What clients are, are using your strategy, your technology? Yeah, so um, we're working across the industry with many different clients. Um, Threadneedle is one of them particularly that we're doing an audit with at the moment. So the goal is really to understand where the unknowns are. There are so many unknowns of unknowns with social media, it's evolving so quickly that we're helping with training and so on to identify where the risks will be. Jim, uh, you know, you're at a, an investment bank, you're at Barclays, maybe you should use this type of, st I, type of uh, technology. I have a feeling I'll be hearing a lot about the charter in, in, in months to come, and I can assure my compliance department that I don't know how to tweet, so it because shouldn't be much of a problem right now. Because help us understand, what are the social media rules in place, roughly, uh, at Barclays? Are you allowed to tweet about investment calls and your research? I have, I have no idea. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, I, so we'll wait for the charter to, to see what happens. <laughs> But is there a fear as someone who is in the financial world that you would perhaps t tweet something out or put something on social media that could potentially, you know, I don't know, go wrong or that someone will come back and say, well, you told me this on social media and yeah, therefore I, I think it's a, hold you it's, a, it's a slippery slope and, and, and you know, obviously the, the industry is changing and, and a charter like this is something that I think will be fantastic for, for telling us how we're supposed to to, to navigate through this. Are the regulations uh, and the rules in place different depending on where you are, Europe versus the US? Absolutely, we've developed the guidance that we've written from um, learnings from the SEC, FINRA, European directives and pulled them back into the UK. Um, because in our view, the use of social media, whilst it's a communication tool outside, it's also a very good way of listening in for customers as well. So no longer is it about products being suitable, but innovating. In next big step or next big announcement coming out of your company? What so we've literally just finished, which is really exciting, and I've had many a lawyer look over it, our audit, which tells firms where their compliance risk, regulation risk, and also areas for cyber breaches will occur.